Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and I am back today with a familiar map. Uh, you might remember this map from last week when we did a bridge battle on it, and uh, Hawk with the 501st Clone Trooper Legion did an assault on this bridge, but was repelled back, and they never quite made it inside. Even after Commander Cody came in with reinforcements from the 212th Attack Force, they still were not able to make it past the bridge, but they did do some damage to the um, battle droid infrastructure. They destroyed pretty much, actually they destroyed every single turret that was on the bridge and all of the tanks if I remember correctly. So the battle droids did manage to uh, build new units and refill the uh, defensive positions here on the bridge and within the factory itself. However, this is not a tank factory, so they weren't able to get any more tanks or turrets on here, but they still have a pretty strong infantry force. The clone troopers, this time around, we have uh, Commander Wolf and Commander Cody, each with their respective legions, the 104th uh, Wolfpack Battalion for Wolf and the 212th Attack Force, along with some of the uh, second airborne for Commander Cody here. And uh, they've they've reassembled their clones and they're going to be re-attacking the, uh, the bridge this time around and they're gonna try and take it this time. This is going to be a trilogy because a lot of people really seemed interested in it, so let me know if you want to see the third part of this trilogy and let me know what you'd like a third part in this to sort of entail. Um, I guess we got to see the outcome of the battle first though. So without further ado, I'll be right back and we'll get this battle underway and the clone troopers will begin their assault on the battle droid defensive bridge here. Be right back. Alrighty then, you bad Larrys. I think we're ready to get this shindig started. So let's go ahead and press start here. And the clones will begin to march forward to their potential doom. I mean, we shall see if, they, if they've learned their lesson from the last battle. They do have the advantage of the droids not having those um, turrets and things like that, which is going to be very advantageous for these clones. Either way, first shot's getting uh, fired from both the clones and the battle droids. Um, clones actually managing to quite easily dispatch a lot of these droids. Commander Wolf going very, very far ahead. Bro, you're, you're such an easy target. We're just going to move Commander Wolf. Um, I don't want him dying too early on here because, you know, it's, it's fun to see the commanders live a little bit longer at the very least. Um, these two battle droids still alive though and they're still getting a nice bit of fire off at some of these oncoming clone troopers. Um, not really seeing too many clone deaths here. The clones are very compact right now. They've got a lot of troopers positioned in the same area, so the droids are going to be able to pour a lot of fire into them, but um, they're probably not going to be able to do enough damage quite yet to take them out. I think the droids need to wait a little bit for the clones to sort of separate out a bit more, and then they'll be able to sort of kill them a bit better. Also, when there's more um, more choke points, that'll help too. Right now, it's too... Uh, too difficult, I think, to get too many kills here on the clones. Um, either way, this room in here for the battle droids has been entirely cleared out, but this bunker over here is still alive. They've still got these machine gun turrets here from last time around that were not destroyed um, because they're cheap turrets. They can be easily used again, so the clones coming around this corner will be in for a treat here, and we can see Commander Cody actually going out there. He runs back as a grenade gets thrown. A couple of Wolfpack troopers dying. Um, oh, did Commander Cody just go down? Commander Cody's down! Okay, so just Commander Wolf is left to command the troopers here, and I'm actually seeing a bunch of lieutenants and, and sergeants and things getting chopped down by, by these droids. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, but a grenade comes in. No, it, it just barely misses. That actually might kill the droid. No, it didn't. This droid is having some trouble, um, and, the, and the clones are having more trouble. <laughs> this is uh, this is quite bad. There's a that's a good grenade. Way to go, clones! The, yeah, that that eliminated the first turret there, but there's a second one here, and more clones are trying to dart their way across, but getting chopped down by that second turret there. Uh, meanwhile, the clones still have to upkeep their fire across the way here to try and take out the droids who are farther away. Um, while they're trying to clear out this bunker over here too, so a very very sticky situation right now for the clone troopers. Um, hopefully, Commander Wolf still. Nope, there's Commander Wolf um, dead on the ground. Cool. So we have no leaders. <laughs> they both went down way too early. Okay. Well, I guess that happens sometimes. Um, there are sergeants and lieutenants and captains within the army here though, so we'll hopefully see some of them in action. A couple more Wolfpack troopers try to come close to this bunker, but they, they take some some shots before they can really do too much. Oh, this guy's got a grenade out. This could be good. 
Oh, Kobe. Very nice one. That's going to take out that turret there. And two more droids off to the side. Hopefully those droids aren't just um, damaged and they're fully destroyed. So now they just have a few troopers in here that they got to deal with. But um, overall, that's going to be a huge help taking out that turret right there. And uh, they're still pouring a lot of good fire over here. Lots of these droids going down while suppressed. So uh, it seems like the clones are still doing pretty good. They, they're at a bit of a stalemate right now across the bridge there. Um, and they're having trouble sort of proceeding too far forward, but they are getting kills and they are, um, you know, getting that work done. It's not like last time where they were totally stuck. I think this time around they could do some good. Um, this guy, it just tries to ye yeet his way in there, but, um, completely fails. It's really only like six, five or six droids in here that the clones need to kill. Um, I think the problem is that that... It's a very hard choke point for them, and they maybe if they could get like a really good grenade in, that, that would be beautiful, but um, right now they're trying to take them on, you know, machine gun style, and that's not quite working out for them, and they're getting cut down. Once again, we're seeing this choke point being the, uh, the stopping point for the clones, but like I was saying earlier, I don't think this is the end for this battle. I think um, they still got it. Yeah, these these clones right here is are the captains I was talking about for the 212th. Um, Let's see if we can't find a sergeant and a lieutenant. That's a lieutenant with the visor right there. Um, let's see. What what else do we have? Um, I wanna find, there's also sergeants for the 104th Battalion. I'm not currently seeing any of them, though. They have, like, a little chest um, lanyard-type thing on them, uh, the sergeants. Oh! There is actually a few droids in here that are popping a few clones outside this window. Ooh, that's tricky. Ooh, grenade going off over here. What? Why? Why? What? <laughs> Why? Do these clones just have a malfunction in their chips or heads or something and decide to just walk forward? Oh, the clones over here, though, finally managed to kill these guys. Um, so that's going to be huge. Now the clones are going to be able to walk forward much better and uh, hopefully progress a little bit more in this battle. They're killing the last few survivors over here. There's a few droids actually still in here, too. Um, so they might actually be able to get some clone kills. Oh, there's one here, too, in this little crook. Oh, all right. So clone progress is being made. It does seem like they've learned their lesson from last time. They've brought... Um, they've got a lot of DC-15As and DC-15Xs, so it makes for these long range engagements a bit easier um, than if they were simply carrying DC 15 C's and that's something that only experience can really help the clones with and that's you know just sort of a learned thing is you know you got to bring long range weapons for this map because it's um it's toughy it's very long range if they had only DC 15 C's it would be tough but I mean you also have to roll with a hybrid we are seeing some DC 15 C's in there and that's because you know there are close range encounters such as these ones here where a rapid fire SMG is gonna be the weapon you want to carry. Now there are droids actually up here. I didn't know this was a place you could stick droids in the last video I did on this. Um, I don't know if you can shoot through this window. I'll, I'd like to check that because uh, I, I was kind of curious about that. Um, it does look like you can. I'm just wondering if, because the droids aren't really shooting, I'm wondering if they don't really have the angle. This guy is. Okay, so the droids can kind of shoot out here. This isn't the most effective position, obviously, because um, not all of these guys are shooting, and I think it's just the angle they're given in this room is kind of tough. So clones might have to uh, charge through this room and take it uh, the hard way instead of being able to fire from the outside, except we're seeing a little bit of engagement over here. There's also a few droids still down in this little nook here. Uh, this could prove to be very, very difficult. There's a few on the other end, too. Um, because we remember last time, that was a very bad death zone for the clones. So we'll see if they can blast their way through that. Either way, the clones still have a lot of troopers left, and they've been playing it rather easy. Um, looks like they're going to reassemble here and, um, and sort of redouble their attacks. A few men going back, maybe getting some provisions, some medical supplies, weapons, ammo, um, while the rest sort of move forward. Here's one of the sergeants for the 104th Battalion. You can see he has this strap over his shoulder, which is pretty cool. Um, oh, and there's the sergeant for the 212th Attack Battalion. It's the same design, just different colors. Um, and then there's, of course, the medics who we've seen in previous videos. So yeah, as you can see, the clones still do have a, a sizable force here. Um, 
It's just that now they have to cross straight out in the open here against a multitude of droids, which is going to be tough. They need to get a lot of fire out to keep these guys suppressed, and they're doing actually a pretty good job of it. They're keeping most of the droids suppressed. Um, that's exactly what they want. Okay, not these guys, though. These guys are fully firing. Um, if the clones can keep these droids, uh, you know, down and not firing, that would be very, very helpful to them. Oh, there's grenades getting thrown over here. Oh, these clones are going up against these last remaining droids in here. It looks like they did manage to get those kills. That's good. Okay. With only, like, one loss. Too bad that guy died. He was, like, so close to getting on the bridge, and then he died right there. Grenades going off over here, too. We've got a couple of dead, dead clones over here. Oh, are these guys suiciding? What's up with these guys suiciding? That's so weird. I don't know why they're doing that. We're going to stop them if we see that again. Um, but now they're taking evasive action. Ooh, grenade being thrown. That guy manages to rebound it back. And it doesn't end up killing any of his comrades. But these three are under some heavy fire because they decide to walk so far forward. But they're actually getting a lot of, a lot of good fire out here. One of them goes down. The other two still chilling. They got a little bit of cover pretty far ahead of them. So it's not that effective. But it's something. It's better than nothing. Uh, not to mention their comrades behind them are helping out a little bit. Except it does seem like they're getting a little bit interested in these droids in here. And they're trying to flood their way in. Um, and take this little room here. They are getting some good kills on them. Grenades going off, though. Uh, pretty much most of the guys who... All of the guys who entered into there died, but they did manage to kill... Um, I mean, there's like two droids dead over here and another two over here. So there's a lot of droids they still got to kill over here. Uh, this might be another loss for the clones. Man, oh man, this bridge is... This bridge is a tough take, I gotta say. Oh, I don't know, man. That's, um, this is brutal. This is, a, this is a toughie. It really is a death run, um, just trying to get around this this bridge and navigate it. That guy didn't jump far enough away, and you could see that immediately. Oh, my God. All right, they've still got a force, though, so they, they could still make it across. We, you know, I have hope for the clones here. Um, it's entirely possible. They're combating a lot of droids, though. They're under heavy fire. They seem to be fascinated with this room over here. They've killed a few more droids in it, but, um, they're just not really managing to, to take it. This, this guy's doing a good job. No, he died. There's still this droid behind them, too, that's chopping them down as they run in. Yeah, we can see them, you know, sort of hesitating now to go back in. Grenades being thrown through the windows. That's actually really a good strategy by the droids. It's resulted in a good number of kills, too. And these clones still having to fight the droids across the bridge too. So this is uh, this is brutal, honestly. Even okay, so when when it was you know the clones had tanks and the droids had tanks, the clones couldn't do it. And then when the clones um, only have to worry about infantry, they're unable to do it. So this is this is a tough map apparently. I don't I don't know if they got this. Well, they've still got maybe 30 more troopers. We'll see. We'll see. It's gone a little bit quiet here. I've got a, got a guy crawling on in here. Sprays his weapon. His friend's joining him. A couple more guys joining him, actually. Oh, they're getting a good push in here, getting a lot of droid kills. This is nice. This is nice. This could be, this could be it for this room. The faster they take this room out and stop having to worry about it, um, the faster the dro uh, clones can get into the actual you know, factory building of the Hydro Dam, and there we go, they, they took out this room. Wait. Oh, there's one, one droid left over here. Um, there we go. Now it should be clear. I think it is. Um, so finally, the clones have taken that room, and now they can refocus their efforts over this way, where, um, droids are still making a stand against these attacking clones, and the clones are still having trouble. <laughs> Oh my god, at least the clones have troopers. They've got troopers. You know, it's not like there's ten guys going up against this. There's a solid, um, not quite a company, like half a company going up against these, um, these lads. So, we've got hope, boys. We've got hope, that's for sure. That's for sure. And they're still starting to eliminate more droids, and they're actually keeping a good amount suppressed here. So that's good to see, too. Very nice. I'm just taking a sip of my coffee. Whew. That's some good coffee. Yeah, I don't normally drink coffee, but... I, okay, that's a lie. I, I take... I drink a lot of coffee. Um, but I try not to unless it's, like, really 
I'm in dire need of something to keep me going and you know when I got to start um, recording some videos for the week and and I have homework and stuff to do the coffee is the savior so that's uh, that's what I'm doing right now we actually see the medics here taking the taking the lead I love medics I don't know why but like in every sort of scenario I always think the medics look the coolest like in Band of Brothers and Saving Private Ryan like the medics always look the coolest to me. Um, the field medics, of course. Um, in the Clone Wars, I always think the medics look the coolest. I don't know. There's something, something so dope about being like troopers who are going to not only have to take care of your fellow soldiers in the field of battle, but also fight alongside. You know, you're putting yourself into danger. Of course, not all field medics would fight, but. Um, a lot of them did. Okay, I'm saying this, and this medic died, so... Sorry, bud. Are there any more medics? There's one right there. One more medic. That's all you guys got. Man. Well, you know, save those bandages, boys. They are still not making it into this doorway. <laughs> this is really tough. Man, oh man. I honestly, I, I kind of wanted the clones to take it this battle. That way, the the third episode could be, um, you know, a droid uh, droid retaliation. You know, they they counterattack, and we can see the droids trying to take the bridge here. Um, but that might not happen this episode. It very well, couldn't. Maybe we'll do a four parter or a five parter where, um, you know, in the in the third part, maybe the clones manage to take it. If they don't, then we'll. Episode 4 maybe they'll manage to take it or they'll never manage to take it and we'll just like keep on sending troopers wave after wave against this Kind of like what we do with the under siege video series that I've got going um But yeah, whenever the clones do take it on episode 37 uh, Then we can have the droids do a counter-attack or something. I don't know uh, That'd be funny. I think we just keep playing this map until finally the clones take it, and then we have one more episode where the droids tie to take it, and then we end it. That's it. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know if you guys do want to see uh, another episode of this, because I could stop using the map. I think it's a really cool map. Um, it seems to have positive, positive reactions last time, so... It seems like people like it. I really like this combo of the 104th and the 212th Attack Legion. And the 2nd Airborne, of course. I think they're two colors that look really nice. I like doing the combos where you have like two or more soldiers. Or, not two or more soldiers, but two or more legions fighting together. Three can be kind of cool, but I think anything more than three and then the colors start to mix weird and then it's just a hodgepodge. Um, but if you have a few units, you know, together of varying colors, it can look, look very, very neat. We're actually surprisingly seeing the clones coming very, very far forward right now. They've eliminated almost this entire block of droids except for the few who decided to duck down. There's still some droids though around these corners and these corners, which is kind of tricky. Um, and then there's of course still more in the factory area as well. And uh, we got some tactical... Ah! This is glitchy. Wait. Help. <laughs> How do we... There we go. No? Okay. This is bad. It's hard to navigate this map. There we go. I'm trying to show off that there's... Oh god! <clears throat> Okay, there's tactical droids in here. <laughs> I'm done trying to get in that area. Let me see if I could... Okay, that adjusted the camera. Okay. There's some tricks you can do in the GEM editor to make the camera go closer up, and sometimes you have to fiddle with it a little bit. All right, well, the last remaining clones are being quite, quite brave, I have to say. Being led by this fearless captain here. Let's name him Captain... Uh, hmm, Captain... Dago. Yeah, Captain Dago is leading them. Um, and they've got their, their one medic left. They've got a variety of weapons, I'd say. Mainly DC-15As and DC-15Cs. There's a VATR, though. And a DC-17M. So they, they do have some weapon variety. They're out of DC-15Xs, which is definitely going to hurt the cause here, because that's such a powerful weapon. And it can really, really help. But, I mean, I guess they used them all up. Captain Dago's gotta gotta fight on without. They're losing a few troopers here. They're running into another solid block of droids who are getting a lot of fire out at them. 
Luckily, f droid accuracy is never very good, and clones is usually pretty good, so it's possible that the clones could win this even with lesser numbers, but, you know, not super likely, I gotta say. Not super likely, but we'll see them give it their best shot. We got the second airborne trooper going very, very far forward, ahead of everyone else, and firing over... Um, this little thing here, there's still a few droids over here who aren't really peeking around the corner. They're sort of waiting for the clones to make their move around the corner, and then they'll sort of ambush them, I think, is the plan there. Clones playing it smart, though, and eliminating one enemy at a time, not trying to take on too many different angles all at once, which could result in, um, you know, disaster for their forces. Instead, they're, they're playing it rather safe and sanely, which is, is nice to see. All right. Uh, but this block of droids here is really not taking too much damage from the clone troopers. The clones aren't managing to get a lot of fire out at them. So uh, these guys are just having free reign to pour fire out at the clones. And we're seeing less and less clone fire coming at these guys here. So that's, uh, that's sort of halting the progress of the clone troopers. Yeah. I don't know if the clones can do it. I'd be impressed if they could make it into the building. <laughs> They're sort of stalling out and uh, losing at the exact same place as before. They didn't even try the staircase this time. There there are droids down here again, but uh, the clones decided it wasn't worth it this time around to um, to try and take that area, apparently. Now they're just focusing here, so they're susceptible to flank right now. Let's just say that. Alright. Maybe in the next episode... Because the clones have made it this far two times, maybe the production output of the Hydro Dam in terms of... Because the Hydro Dam, I assume, is connected to, like, a droid factory, and that's why they want it. Um, but, like, the production output is seriously lessened, so the Republic will send another force. Um, and this time around, the droids, they don't have enough troopers to man all of the bridge. They can only man, like, the very back line, so maybe we have the clones starting... Um, over here and then they they get to walk through the disaster um, of the battle before just to you know see the actual interior of the battle get some action here because that's that's what I want <laughs> these past two episodes I wanted the the clone forces to make it far enough to actually start fighting on the interior but that really has just not come to fruition really hasn't all right Droids holding super steady. Clones taking a breather right now. Not really doing much. Laying on their tummies. Yeah, this is uh, not great. This guy's noticed these guys, though. That He's aware of the situation. A couple of them getting up, starting to move forward again. Oh, they, yeah, they noticed these droids over here. Oh, this guy's got a grenade. That's the move. That's the move right there. Good one. Oh, the droid threw it at the other droid over there. Uh, they ended up getting two of them. That's not bad. They're getting a few more elimination for the clones in here. Good to see that they're not over yet. You know, they're still trucking. They've uh, opened up this angle over here for these droids to start pouring some fire onto the clones, though. And uh, these clones are going to suffer for it. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it ends up going. These guys should make sure they're they're keeping their health up, you know, heal up every once in a while. But where is this guy coming from? Why are you so far back? Are there any stranded clones, like, really far back, by the way? There's actually one up here. We can move him forward. And uh, we'll get this guy forward, and then that's it. Okay, so you can see at the minimap, blue are the clones, red are the droids, and um, really not a lot of clones. There's a few droids still behind them over here. We're not going to worry about them. Um, and there's a bunch of droids immediately in front of them. Then they've got the offshoot over here and another offshoot over here. So it's almost safe to say the clones shouldn't be able to, um, to win this battle, but you never know. As I say that, more troopers are, are dying. There's the captain, the fearless captain. Still alive. All right. We're actually very, very close to 50,000 subscribers now, um, which is so exciting. I am, that was like, 
I've, I've sort of got a few milestones. Oh, that, our second airborne trooper died. That, that makes me kind of sad. I liked him. Um, but I've set some milestones in my head ever since I started, like, daily gaming and actually got some traction on there. Like, the first milestone was, like, 100 subs. I was like, yeah, if we can get 100 subs, I'll be, like, stoked. And that happened. I was like, heck yeah, let's do it. Um, and then it was 500 subs. And then it was 1,000 subs. And then I... I was like, 10,000 subscribers. That's, like... That's when you can like really call yourself like a YouTuber. Um, and so when I hit 10,000 subscribers, I was, you know, through the moon. That was so exciting. Um, and then 10,000, it was like 20,000 subscribers. You know, to hit 10,000 twice, that's whack. That'd be so cool. And actually, Daily Gaming just recently hit 20,000 subscribers. So that was, that was kind of cool, especially because I haven't uploaded on that in almost a year. So that was, that was kind of wild. Um, and then from 20,000 out, you know, every, every 10k from there was like a, just a huge accomplishment. Um, and now to hit 50,000 halfway to getting that silver play button is just, it's just out of this world. That's what I've always, you know, wanted to get is some sort of like physical representation of the achievement that this community has sort of set forth. Um, and so... You know, getting that 100k plaque would definitely be the coolest thing ever, you know? That, that's what, uh, that's I think the next goal for this community is the 100k. Um, and, and we're halfway there, so. Almost halfway. But, uh, I believe in us. I, th I think it'll be, it'll be really cool accomplishment to do. Um, it's something I'm excited for. But yeah, I got 50,000, that's nothing to shirk at. That's... That's awesome, guys. You know, this was all, all thanks to you guys. You know, if you guys didn't watch the content and actually form this community, and and accept it, then I don't think any of this would have been possible. So, y'all rock. That's uh, that's what I'm gonna say up there. All right. So the captain is still alive. His medic, I think, is dead. Um. Yeah, I'm not seeing the medic. I also don't see his dead body. So. A little concerning. Oh, there's the medic. Hey, the medic's still alive. So, our two friends are still alive here, uh, but they're not really. <laughs> they're dwindling. They're, the light's about to go out. They've actually killed a few of these droids up here, which is kind of impressive, um, but there's still a lot of them. So, I, I don't know about this. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna make this happen. This is uh, this is a toughie. Not to mention most of the clone weapons that were like highly effective, like the DC-15X, DC-15A, uh, those are mostly gone because those are the first targets the droids pick. So we do see, a, a, I think, two DC-15As are left on the field now. But for, for the most part, we're seeing the clones are down to essentially only SMGs, which is not a good thing. Not a good thing at all. But you know what? They're still holding out hope. They're still pushing forward. Honestly, anything that this little squad of clones can do right now um, is going to help for the next battle because it'll be like, you know, less droid output, less droids remaining, and so the clones might finally be able to take this Hydro Dam. I don't know. Also, should we... Do you think we should switch the Legion again? Hmm. It could be kind of fun to just keep switching Legions to see who finally gets it, who finally cracks it. Because last time we did the 501st Legion with, like, a small little force led by Commander Cody to come in in the last bit there. And they all failed. Now we've got the wolf pack in Commander Cody's Legion. So maybe next time we should do, like, Commander Fox or something like that. And the 65th course on guard. Or, I don't know, Doom Legion or something. I don't know. Could be fun. Ooh, okay. So clones discover this little hideout of droids over here. And they eliminate them right quick and there's still two over here hey one of them goes down the clones making progress still still getting kills i'd actually be interested to see how many kills each of these clones has this guy's got one this guy's got three the captain has two um this guy's got four this guy's got 11 that's impressive this guy's got four this guy's got two this guy's got 10 this guy's got three yeah the long range weapons all have a lot more kills um how about the oh whoa whoa my mouse gets so speedy. There we go. They're just the setting. Um, this guy's got five. The medic has none. Aw. Oh, he's a pacifist medic. Poor guy. I'd like to see the medic get at least one kill in this. 
God, the camera position for this map can be tough. It's tricky, tricky angles. All right, the captain's over here with a lot of troopers. They've come in front of this cover to try and take out these droids over here. The droids are still getting a good amount of fire off at these clones, um, but neither side can really get a kill on each other, it seems. Still some hits coming in from both sides, though. Oh, some more grenades going out. That's definitely a problem that the clones are running into right now, um, is that they went so far forward, but there's still a few droids hiding behind here, so they're susceptible to some grenading at the moment which is never a great thing. <laughs> All right, I'm not gonna hurry this along. I'm gonna let the clones take their time and um, and do it. I feel like if if I um, if I pushed anyone forward too much, did that guy die or is he concussed? He's just concussed, good. If I if I rushed things along, I would get some, some hate. <laughs> and this isn't one of those stupid ones because these clones are actually proving themselves quite useful. You know, it's not like when there's, you know, 10 guys left against 300 droids and they're not going to be able to do anything. These clones are actually proving to be really, really good when in fewer numbers. Their their team dynamic is actually pretty great and they're managing to do quite a bit. And they're still pushing forward, still getting kills, still progressing with the mission. Um, finally, someone throws a grenade over here and they manage to take out both of those droids. That was smart. They should have done that a few minutes ago, but they finally did. All right, the captain and the medic with their troopers proceeding forward. These droids on the outskirts over here getting gunned down. There's still an entire room. Well, some of them have died. The tactical droids have died. Um, but there's still some droids in this room over here. Still some hugging this wall over here. And the clones are now having to deal with these troopers. They're firing away. Let's try and readjust the camera again. There we go. If you dip down to a lower part of the map and then back up to an upper part of the map, it readjusts everything, which is nice. Oh, a clone falls right quick there. Here's the captain leading the troopers. Quite bravely, I might add, but he goes down. Poor captain. He had done a lot of work. So I guess the the command structure falls to the medic. We'll just say that because I haven't seen any lieutenants or sergeants, I don't think. It would be more interesting to have a distinguished character take over the command. So medic's in charge now that, that the captain has died. It's like Geonosis all over again. You got that right, man. This is a brutal battle. It's really tough. But these uh, these few clones are really sticking it to these droids. Doing a wonderful job. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight clones left alive. I think, if I counted correctly. One of them has walked into this wall, so that's cool. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, this is a toughie right here. This this clone is like this is a fake wall. It's a curtain. Doesn't matter because he's dead. Um, these clones have done far better than I ever thought. Honestly, I thought the clones would be totally toast at this like maybe this point here is when they would all die. But they they push the boundaries of what I thought they're capable of. Of course, they did ignore all this down here, but we're not gonna hold it against him. <laughs> all right. Clones readjusting slightly. One of them gets gunned down in the process, though. Another fallen soldier right there. This guy over here, off to the side, taking on the droids by himself over here. Second Airborne are tough, though. They're, they're, they're a tough bunch. They're, if anyone could do it, it's them. Drinking some more of my Kufefe. It's French vanilla. Put a little, uh, a little half and half in there and some sucre, or sugar. Um, it's quite, quite nice, quite nice. I do like me some froofy coffees. <laughs> I'm a bit of a wimp that way. I, he disappears into the wall. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't enjoy coffee that's super strong or anything like that, you know? All right, who we got left? Did the medic die? Oh, the medic did die. We got three soldiers left. I'm calling the retreat now. You guys hop back here. Get back. Let the Repu these guys are going back to let the Republic know what transpired today. They're gonna tell them, you know what? This base is ready to be attacked again. We can do it next time. We got this in the final episode of this trilogy, unless it goes on to like a four or five part series, and then it's not really a trilogy. Um, could be a quintilogy or a quad trilogy. Quad quad trilogy, perhaps, mayhaps. I don't know. Um, let me know what you'd like to see happen, though. Um, in the next part here, uh, do you want the clones to attack again, but the droids are, like, pushed really far up here? 
or do you want the uh, the clones to attack and the droids are, are stuck way back here because the clones already took out the majority of this front bridge in the last two assaults? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below. Either way, guys, thank you so much for sticking around. You know, right in the comment section, hashtag I stayed if you stayed till the end. It's always interesting to see how many people actually do. Um, and yeah, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, all those fun things. I want to say thank you so much to the community because you guys have honestly been really just spectacular these days. Um, I'm really excited about the channel and where it's going. And uh, yeah, check me out on social media. I got a Twitter account and Instagram. Um, check out Daily Productions on YouTube. He's my gardener. He's very good at YouTube. And uh, I'll see you all later. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.